What's up everyone? I'm here with my first haul of 2021. I've got a little bit of it all today. I've got single issues, hardcovers, trade paperbacks, and I even got a mystery package from one of my friends. So keep watching this video to find out what's inside. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, Air Comics here, and today I'm going over my first comic book haul of 2021, and make sure you stick around to the very end to see a mystery unboxing that one of my good friends sent me. But before I get into any of that, if you are new to the channel, I drop weekly comic book content, and if you want to join a community that's dedicated to comic books and raising awareness for mental health, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content, you won't regret it. And now, without further ado, let's get started on this haul. Now, real quick, before I get started on this haul, I just want to say thank you for all the support you guys have been showing me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested in showing extra support towards this channel, I did create a YouTube membership. There's three different levels of perks. Down low in the description, you can find out all about that. But now, with this haul for this week, I picked up some really cool stuff, and I can't wait to show it off. I'm going to be going over the single issues first, and honestly, I'm really surprised I found some of these out in the wild. The first one, not so much. I just forgot to get it on one of my new comic book days, but the first one today is Philadelphia number 11. This is cover A, and I really do love this series. I forgot to add it to my pull list for the month of December, so I wasn't able to get it the day it came out, so I'm happy I have it now. But moving on from Philadelphia, this isn't a review video, so I'm not going to get too far into depth with this. I'm really happy I found this one. Cover price, it was the only one there. We've got The Amazing Spider-Man number 55. This is cover A. Beautiful artwork done by Patrick Gleason. The only problem I'm having with it is I didn't realize it until I got home. There is a little spine tick on it, but not just a spine tick, but it's color breaking. It's the only problem I have with it. There is a little ding off in the right corner. I'm sure you guys can see that pretty well, but the rest of it really isn't that bad. But like I said, it was the only copy there. I saw it and I had to pick it up. I really didn't even put much thought into it. But that spine tick, while it doesn't look too bad right here, it's definitely color breaking and it definitely sucks. But either way, I still have another copy of it. I'm very happy about it. But this issue, I can't believe I found this. I've never even seen this in any of my LCSs before. I'm not sure if this one in particular is hard to come by, but I know the overall series definitely isn't really floating around in the wild anymore. But we've got Hazel and Cha-Cha Save Christmas. I believe this is cover A. It is a one shot. And I just love that. I think it's so beautiful and it's pretty clean. There's no ticks on it. There's no dings on the corners or anything like that. No color rubs. I did pay full price for it. The other thing that was there is they had one more in stock and I was debating on just buying them both at once. But I thought, you know what? I was lucky enough to find one. If it's there next time I go, I'm probably going to pick it up. But I usually don't like buying out stock of somebody unless if it's like a super big key, something like that. But I don't know. I like giving someone else an opportunity to be able to find something too. But going back to looking at this, it really doesn't have any damage on it. I'm really happy about it. I tried finding it on eBay and the prices were all over the place. So I don't really know what this particularly is worth. I saw a few that were going for around $20 to $30. But there was one I think was selling for $100 and another one that was selling for $125. So I don't think it's really that valuable, but it's definitely more than cover price. So I think I made out really well on this, especially if I decide to flip it. But I really like the Umbrella Academy, so I'm probably just going to keep it. These are all the issues that I picked up as far as solo ones go. I'm really happy with all of them, but let's move on to these trade paperbacks and hardcovers. So now I've got this big stack of hardcovers and trade paperbacks to go over with you. I am so excited to show them off. A lot of these I got for cover price. The only one I got for a lot cheaper is this one in the center, but I'm going to be starting off with these top two trade paperbacks. So if you've been following my haul videos, I've been kind of on a monster genre kick because I picked up the Aliens vs. Predator 30th anniversary hardcover book. And I just finished it last night. I thought it was incredible. I love the artwork. I love the story. So when I went to Atomic Pop today, that's the store I was shopping at, I thought, you know what? Maybe they have some more books that are kind of like that, some hard covers or what have you. But I saw this and I thought, I got to pick it up. The first one, we have Predator Omnibus Volume 1. This is Dark Horse Books. And just looking at this front, it is so gorgeous. Going back, it's got a price tag of $24.99 on it. And it says it has 400 explosive story pages in full color. 
I grew up watching Aliens vs. Predator and Predator and all that good stuff. So to me, this was right up my alley. I love the Aliens vs. Predator hardcover, and I just knew this story would be just as good. So looking through it, just at some of the artwork, it is so well done. This looks just like the hardcover I just got done reading. It's the old school, and the colors really pop. They have color contrasting scenes where you know it's, du it's dark, and then other pages have light stuff. And it's just very old school looking style art. I know this isn't for everybody, but this is something I'm definitely into. And just getting through some of these other pages, look, it's full color pages of just the same thing, which is a few others that are just a little off. Keep going through it, and this is just a beautiful book. I can't wait to get into the story. It's definitely not for younger readers. It's 100% on the mature side, especially if you've seen the movies. But that is Predator Omnibus Volume 1. They did have Volume 3 there. These are definitely going for well over cover price, so I know I got a pretty good deal on that. But the other one, just to follow in tradition with the Predator, I saw it. Terminator Omnibus Volume 1. Same thing. It's by Dark Horse Books. This one has a price tag, though, of $24.95. Not the $24.99 that the other one does, but this one says it has 300 story pages in full color in a high-quality value price edition. So this one has 300 pages. The Predator has 400 pages. So maybe that's what makes up for the $0.05 cent difference. Either way, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this one because it's pretty much the same thing. Pretty much the same type of artwork. Pretty cool. The colors pop on the pages. They have the different shadowing. Very contrasting with light and dark colors. But, you know, it's a, it's a Terminator story. That's going to be so cool. It's not going to be like the movie. At least I don't think it is. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. But going through it, eventually they change up the artwork a little bit. This really isn't for me. I like the original style in the earlier pages. But that's just the middle of the book. And then they go back to pretty much what the original is. Kind of at the end. It's still a little bit different. You can tell it's a little bit more on the modern side. Compared to the earlier artwork in the beginning of the story. But I do think it looks really cool. I'm really happy about this. I'm so pumped that I picked up both of these. Especially for cover price. I looked them up on eBay. This Predator one it's selling for like... Some of them were like $40 to $60. There was a wide range of them. Some of them were a little bit more than that. I think you could probably find it for about 40 bucks, and I'd say that's still a pretty solid deal. It's got 400 pages. Terminator 1, definitely on the cheaper side, though. You're still going to find that for about $25, $30. So I think I got very good deals on both of them. But this is the first hardcover I'm going to be going over. Another one I've been looking forward to for a little while now. It was supposed to be delivered, get this, December 7th. It's a Monday, and what are we in? A brand new year? I, it took forever. I understand that USPS is very backed up right now, but that was well over a month of waiting pretty much. So this first book we have, it's by Jason Aaron, Southern Bastards, book one. This is a $30 price tag on it, and this collects Southern Bastards numbers one through eight. I think they have a second volume coming out, or it's already out, and then a third one's on its way. I don't really know. I haven't read this series yet. But the only problem is, is this book is kind of beat to hell. You can tell on the corners, they're all pushed in pretty hard, just like that. And I don't know, even the bottoms, it looks like it's it's hit a lot of different things. These corners are pretty banged up too. But you know, I got a great deal on it. The price tag was $30, and I think after shipping, I spent $12, maybe $13. But this is something I've been interested in reading for a long time now. If you have read this, let me know down low in the comment section what you think about it. But same thing. Look at this artwork. They've done such a great job on this. The artist for this one is Jason Latour, if I mess that up. You already know I can't do names that well. But he's done a great job with this. Flipping through it. It's the same thing kind of with the Terminator and Predator. The colors really contrast on this. We've got a lot of dark colors, a lot of light colors. And I don't know. It, it's kind of reminds me of Family Tree if you've read that. The black lines on the pages really pop. The black lines really stand out in comparison to the color. It just really looks nice all together. But as I was saying though, I haven't read this yet. Honestly, I don't really even know what it's about. I can only assume it takes place in the South. It's kind of looking like some rednecks. I don't really know what they get into, but definitely on the gory side, I'm digging it. I can't wait to read this. Something I've looked forward to for a while now. I can't wait to dive in. But now the final book that I picked up. I'm just going to move these out of the way for now. So this final one. 
I saw this in the store and I thought, I need to get this. This is straight nostalgia. I grew up with this TV show and I started looking through it and right away I knew it was going to be mine. We've got Avatar The Last Airbender, The Lost Adventures, Team Avatar Tales. This is another one from Dark Horse Books. So with this one though, it's not the library editions that kind of go, I think along with the show, there's like six volumes of those. The best way I think I can describe this is it's kind of like a companion edition. It came after all the volumes, and it's just little short stories that have to do with Avatar and his team. So I still thought that was cool. I wish it was a library edition, but I don't really care about that. I just want to read some Avatar. As soon as I opened it up, I thought, man, this is, this is going to be exactly like the show. It's so colorful. It's obviously cartoonish, more on the childish side. But that's what Avatar is. And it was still, I just rewatched it. I think it's on Netflix. It's still a great TV show. I haven't got a chance to rewatch The Legend of Korra yet, and I can't wait to do that. But I think the artwork in this is very nice. But some of these short stories, they have a little bit different artwork, and it's not completely me. They kind of go back and forth a little bit, they swap it up a little bit, which isn't always a bad thing, but for the most part, they keep pretty much the same artwork. I'm really digging it. You can tell they got all the different characters in it. I think this is going to be a great story. And as always, I think they added a whole lot of extra stuff at the end, some extra artwork, and, you know, yeah, how they design stuff, what some of the other covers were going to be. And I don't know, like I was saying, I grew up with Avatar. I loved it. And if you guys did too, I'm sure you're going to really like this. But those are all the hard covers I picked up. As I was saying, I got them all for cover price except the Southern Bastards. I got that for a steal, but the book is pretty banged up, so it is what it is. But let's move on to this mystery box. So I thought this was a mystery box for my friend Chris because he said that he sent me something that should be there by now. And it turns out this isn't it, but it is sent from someone else named Chris. Different package, same name. So let's see what's in this one. All right, you guys are gonna like this. This was worth it. This was absolutely, totally worth it. I got two oversized hardcovers, and the first one is Thor, the God of Thunder by Jason Aaron. This is volume one. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my God, look at that. This is, this is the real deal, guys. This is incredible. These single issues right now are going for a ton of money. Obviously, we got first appearance of Gore, and you know, Gore's going to be big. He's going to be in the next Thor movie. But just, we need to take a quick look at this artwork. I'm probably not going, oh my god, there's water damage. Are you kidding me? Why would that not be freaking, look at that. Look at, I don't even know if you can tell that easy on there. I'm going to include a close-up. That is tragic. It is what it is. All right, I'm not gonna get too upset by that right now, but that definitely sucks. But we need to we need to see this artwork because that outside cover is incredible. And there we got Gore right there, flipping through it. Look at this artwork. This is a story I haven't read in so long, but I never had the actual first issues of it. I only ever read it in trades, and I didn't even read all of them together but now I can read all of them. So this first one, I was so excited, I didn't even get into it. So this first one has a $35 price tag and it covers one through 11. Jason Aaron and illustrated by Esad Ribic and Butch Guise. Oh, I think I messed that one up too. But Esad Ribic, I'm pretty positive he's doing everything on the Eternals issue that's coming out this Wednesday for New Comic Book Day. Incredible artwork, you gotta check that out too. But back to this. This is just beautiful. I can't wait to see what happens with Thor and Gore. I know that kind of rhymes, but... Well, I guess I know what happens too. But I just need to reread this. That is absolutely beautiful. Same thing, I'm not going to get into the second volume because I just showed off the first one. It's got the same artwork and everything else. But same thing, $35 price tag. This one covers 12 through 25, and that is the entire run. Got them in two oversized issues. Oh, uh, that's so, all right, that's cool. I thought this was so, and there's damage on this. Man, this guy didn't include any of that. I already know this was an eBay purchase. Literally, I guess the same name, Chris. I'm not gonna give out his last name, but look at that. That's damage too. That is just ridiculous. But that front, 
that's pretty sweet. I like that. I'll include close-ups. I'm not going to show off this artwork too much. I'm going to take a quick peek, though. I wonder if this one's got water. This one does, too. How is that possible? They both have water. They both have water damage in the, the same spot. And this one is damaged on the top. And there's a little bit of damage off to the side. But man, does that suck. I spent a decent amount on this too. I'm not going to say how much I spent because I wasn't completely proud of it at the time. But I do think that these are, they're not in run anymore. I think they're out of print. But, oh man, it's on the back. Well, obviously it's on the back if it's on that. Man, that sucks. I'm happy to read it. I'm happy I have it, but... Chris, whatever your last name is, if you're watching this, man, you should have disclosed all the damage to these books. Why would you do that, man? Paid decent money for this. But I'm still happy with it. This is beautiful. I can't even get over that. But that's everything I picked up. What do you guys think? What do you think the best thing I picked up was this week? All these beautiful hardcovers and oversized issues. We've got some cool single issues, the Hazel and Cha-Cha. Let me know down below in the comment section which one your favorite was that I picked up for this first haul of 2021. But thank you for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to join a community that's dedicated to comic books and raising awareness for mental health, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content you won't regret it and now i've got two more videos sitting off to the side here with more of my comic book content click on one of those and i'll see you in the next one have a good day